Hey, what's up? How are you doing today? Welcome to another tutorial on DevStock. So in this tutorial, we're just going to be looking at how you can, you know, perform some basic data science stuff using your phone application. You know, using your phone, your mobile phone, and using um, the so-called, you know, PyDraw theory. So that PyDraw theory. So this is just Python on Android. So this let us run Python. Alright. So the first thing we need to do before we get started is just let's head over to the PyDraw theory. I have it open already. So just click on this space, click on terminal. The after is done numpy. So we use numpy for data science. Numpy is a mathematical library in um uh, in uh, Python. It makes sure it's easy to create, you know, list dictionary um uh, sorry, list. So in a, in a way, you know, numpy is built on top of Python, but in some ways it's faster than the normal Python list. So okay, you understand what I'm saying? So what we just need to type is just pip install. Numpy, you can see it's installing Numpy, so you just have to wait for some minutes for the installation to be complete, right? So, basically, so this is we are just going to be looking at the few functions of Numpy which create an array, a 0 d array, a 1 d array, a 2 d array, 3 d array, how to assess the array values, um, yes, uh, yeah, you know, some few things to get in touch with you. So, in case you want to dive into that science, but you don't have a laptop, so you are, you are feeling down. That you can do this on your phone. So basically, that is just the purpose of this video to show you they can do what you want to do on your phone. So the last time I made a video on the Django web application. All right. So if you not check that out, just check it out. You can build a uh, a web app on your phone using the Django using Django. I also wrote I wrote an article on free code camp on how to build a web app using Django. So you can either work and read the text or you know go for the video. So if you're new to this um, channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, and share the video. Uh, your support will always count. Thanks. Right. So you can see it's installing the build dependency. I'm just gonna wait for some minutes. And you can see Numpy isn't that much. It's just 7.8 MB. You can see it's right here. So installation is almost over. So you must be patient. All right. So basically, um, concerning channel. I, I don't only think that was alright. What I'm doing here is just for phone application. No, I will be I will be releasing videos on how to make stuff using your own laptop as usual. I just want to you know support those dudes that don't have a laptop or any personal computer for now, so they will, they won't fail down, so they can move forward to you know do what they want to do, right? So basically, that is just all I'm trying to achieve right now. And I'm very sure we're gonna achieve this with so we're gonna achieve it with the help of you people. And basically, I wanna see everybody you know build stuff, build the next like, machine learning model, build the next artificial intelligence model, and everything, everything, everything is out there. You just get a push forward. We can have it. It says okay, build the next Facebook. Anything help us? So basically, what we need to do is just find some ways to um try to get into the ways because I coded on full for more than two years and I know we are where to branch today so right so this is the installing they just go down I'm not supposed to take time like this but eventually it's taking time so we just have to go down and also if you know you follow this video to this part please just it and then drop a comment below right here yeah? so once you drop a comment below tell me about you your name where you're from um, what you got into coding and how you know um, the challenges you face and how you overcome them, you know, some of that things. So, just drop that here so everybody can learn from you. They can see what from how you were able to overcome what you faced. All right, so this is this turning. I don't know why it's taking time, but I just hold on. All right, so just go ahead and also don't forget to smash the like button smash the subscribe button in your new year and that's all this counter the support all right and i want to make a very big thank you to everybody who subscribed to my channel you know after posting that icon um free code camp my subscriber grew from 231 to 270 plus that is a lot of that is um, 40 subscribers just to this and that means a lot to me so thank you guys i appreciate it all right so we got an update so prepare well met adapter all right, this might not be slow on your phone, maybe because uh, the network provider in this place. All right, that's why it's slow, but in your phone, in your case, it might not be slow. So you just have to you know, order. So finally, this was installed um, completely, so you can just hit back. 
Non, tu c'è chi tu sei stato lì, c'è qua, non è, 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 Maybe the command we can execute to the terminal so we pick just you know test it and this person do import numpy okay, so we import numpy sorry okay I hit the play button now you can see there's no error meaning numpy has been stored already so the first we'll be looking at is just um simple arrays in numpy so simple list so let's clean this list is not already so this is gonna be s equals to two we're gonna be important numpy as mp mp equals to n does a array so array can pass in a list of a list of numbers all right so if i should run this now we should not be having anything because we are not printing out the x2 so i can do print x so once I run this now, you can see we have the list printed out. So now to confirm if this is a numpy uh, kind of element, you can put in the type, alright. So type of x. You can say given us numpy, this is nd array. So that's a numpy array. Alright, so now I think we're going to be looking at the type of um, arrays type of list i mean so we have this od list so this which is just normal uh let's bring od equals to mp dot array 42 that i can do print od so when i run this now you can see we have just 42 so we same way we have um one d array so i can do one d equals to mp dot array so that is just like the first one we did which is just this and i can do print one d all right so we have an error yes i forgot i forgot about that invalid um linear convection so we're just gonna change this all right so let's just link this to d only so this one is gonna be d also so let me run this now you can see um, now you can see we have the array there you know that's a 1d array the same way we have a 2d array so it's gonna be a uh, let's do it double d array naming is now coming to my head i don't know why so it's gonna be 2d array one two three four sorry one two three four then inside this place we're gonna put another one again we can put in five six seven eight all right then we can print out dd and you can see we have the two diary this is it here we are still gonna confirm if the by dimensions to confirm if they are the arrays we also have the 3d array this is gonna be uh do, do, do. let's make it 3 <laughs> don't mind me so this is gonna be array one two three the one two three right here there's gonna be a comma four five six let's make this one three uh, okay comma seven eight nine all right uh, this is not going to give us anything. I've not printed it out. Oh. Close the print out DDD. Like I can see we have the 3D array. So now let's confirm by checking dimensions. So let's check the first dimension, which is this. So we can do print D dot ND. So this is just numpy dimension. So around this, now you can see this is a 1D array. So the D is one the array. Let's check out the OD. Now it's OD. Uh, yes. Dot. Dimension. You can see that it's zero. Let's check out the DD. Dimension. 
I can see that is two so that is two D um I read dimension then point D D D dot and I am I can see that is a three D array. So now we created a simple array of um I mean uh, Python in NumPy. So let's try and access them. So the first one is on point. Let's access the first ten email, so it's just gonna be zero. So I point this out. You can see path array is a zero dimension, but one was there. Okay, so we can't do it for the OD because it's just um um is an is zero dimension, just the normal value, so it's not an array. So let's try this for D only. Alright, so you can see we got D which is one and let's check you can see our zero is one. So the same way for um for the two D so we can do to get the first value I think we'll do something like this that'll be D zero let's try this first alright so it's giving us the first value you can see it's giving us the first value that is this part so we can now try something like this let's try this again so you can see it's giving us one you know the first so we are selecting the first index which is this one as zero and also selecting the value which is the first digit as zero if i should turn this to one you can see we have two which is the second index basically that is more of how to we can access arrays uh, you know perform some basic numpy stuff and i think um the py directory comes with some sample of numpy you know you can see it here so we can try let's try the array generation so we're just gonna click on open you can see it has a lot of example you can follow so we click on this you can see so you created array filter the zeros so these are zeros np dot zeros np dot ones um uninitialized arrays and this is diagonals also you can see empty dot empty dot empty empty arrays empty dot eyes and so on and so forth here is a um, Another sample we want to check. Let's check this out. And you can see this is a matrix of us. So if you know you did math my uh, mathematics, I did matrix. This is just showing us how to solve matrix using NumPy. And it's kind of straightforward. So we have the array of the matrix, everything. So we printed it out the on this line we ended up solve. I think we solve it. So it's already the input stuff that can perform the function was already. So thank you for watching this. So in the next tutorial, what you're gonna be doing is just you know, so I'm gonna to create a video on how we can you know use um math properly in less than the future. You're gonna learn how to use um machine learning on your phone using scikit learn. So hope you are ready for that. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share. Thank you, see you next time.